hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is debbie in this video i'll be showing you how to achieve a low waist pant also i'll be showing you how to achieve a shaped waistband so two things in this video a shaped waistband and a low waist pants please ensure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you share the video so that other people can benefit from it okay if you're interested let's get started this is my pants i like to drop my back and my front on the same paper okay so now that i'm done with this i'm going to be tracing it on separate papers okay uh, the back and front is going to be on separate papers and i've done that already so this is what i have this is my front and this is my back so and from here from the waistline to the new so i just Traced it out to the new level. This is the new level for the front, and this is the new level for the back as well. So I have the two here with me. So I'm just going to put this aside. Can you see what I have? So what I'm going to be doing here, okay? to drop my waist because i feel that the waist will be too high for me and of course there are designs like that but i don't want such on my pants i'm not making a jumpsuit here so i need to bring it down and that's why it's important for me to do it okay so right now i'm going to be bringing it down so i have labeled it this is my new line this is my crotch line this is my waist line and for the back as well this is the new line the crotch okay so i'm just going to concentrate on the waist line okay so this is what i'm going to do here on the front pattern you need to bring it down a little more than the back pattern so what i would recommend is that whatever you are dropping on the front pattern should be about um three quarter of an inch lower than the back pattern for example if you're dropping one and a half inches or yeah one and a half inches on the front pattern you should drop three quarter of an inch on the back pattern so the difference has to be about three quarter of an inch or one inch i hope you understand because i want my pants to start from my belly button okay and when i was taking my measurement usually my waist is about two inches above my belly button so i'm going to be dropping two inches you can drop two and one quarter on the front pattern minus three quarter will give you about 1.5 inches so you are going to take 1.5 inches from here and the reason there's a difference is because you know when you wear a pant and you want to sit you will notice that the back the butts at the back takes more than what the front takes you need to actually consider that and that's why you need to make sure that the back is a bit higher than the front you can drop two and three quarter and drop two inches but if you feel that two inches will be too much on the back pattern then you can drop one and a half inches plus three quarter will We'll give you about two and quarter so you are going to drop two and quarter on the front pattern okay so what that's what i'm going to do now so i'm going to drop two and quarter here then i'm going to drop one and a half on the back pattern this is my front pattern so i'm going to just measure from the center front now i'll measure two and quarter can you see two and quarter i'm going to measure that so I've, I've done that already the side front and the side back must be equal okay so whatever you drop here this is actually the center front so you are not going to drop the same thing 
on the side so what i'm going to recommend is that you drop 1.5 here okay then for the back for the side back you drop 1.5 okay the center back you drop 1.5 okay so here i dropped two and one quarter here i mean the front now i dropped 1.5 for the side for the center front two and quarter and for the back okay i dropped um 1.5 for the side back on the side back then on the center back i drop the same 1.5 the next thing is for you to close these darts okay so you are going to close these darts your dart must be closed to the side okay so you bring your dart to the side and close it So I'm closing my dart. Can you see? I'm closing my dart. So I'm just going to take my pin, pin it down. Okay, then you can. Blend it up. All right. So then you are going to close the darts the waist darts on the back pattern as well to the side okay So, and you are going to do the blending on the back as well. Can you see? Okay, so now that we have done this, you are going to measure 1.5 in the middle. Okay, so everything must be the same. So this is 1.5. You can also measure 1.5 here as well. Remember, this is the back pattern, okay? For the front pattern, of course, you know that the center front is different from the side front. But for the back, it's the same thing. And that's why I'm doing all this. Just to ensure everything is the same. Okay? Can you see now? So I'm going to just use my free hand to connect this very point together or I make use of my curve. So I can go with my curve ruler. If you can't use your curve, please make sure you use your handle, your free hand. So I'm just going to connect all the points together. Okay, carefully do that. So this is how much I'm going to, you know, remove completely with my scissors. Okay. So I'm going to just leave this and go to the front pattern. So this is the front pattern and there's a, you know, it's a bit different from the back pattern because of the, you know, amount 
that we are dropping on the center front and it's also going to need a different approach in trying to you know achieve this low waist thing on the front pattern so now because this is different from this so what i'm going to do is to ensure is to just make use of my curve and you know position it this way can you see the way i'm doing it Can you see so this is what you do so i'm just going to cut this off i'm going to remove it completely can you see this is how much i've removed from the back okay so I don't need this anymore. I think it was my tracing wheel that affected this very part. So I'm just going to just take my tape and staple it together. Okay, so I'll put this aside and work on the front pattern. Can you see my front pattern? Can you see? This is my front pattern. The waist is low. Can you see? So, and this is my back pattern. And the waist is also low. Look at what I have. Okay. So right now, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a shaped waistband. Okay, but it's the same thing. Just the, what you did, you know, why trying to lower the waist is what you are going to do while trying to achieve a perfect waistband. Okay, so I'm going to leave this pin here. You know, I think I've removed the one for the the front. So I will just use my pin again to hold it together. Now, it now depends on how wide do you want your band to look like. Is it 2 inches? Is it 1.5 inches? So for this, I'm going to be measuring 1.5 inches has my band so both center front this is the center front cf both said this is the side front sf okay both center front and you know the side front will have 1.5 all round as its band okay so this is the how wide i want my band to be so it depends on what you want actually but 1.5 is the standard so you can at most one um two inches is okay Okay, so I'm going to just measure 1.5 inches. One point five inches. 1.5 inches. And once you finish marking it, you are going to connect the points together with your curve ruler okay this is 1.5 and for the back as well i'm going to do the same thing so i'm done with the back this is 1.5 inches as my band 
So um, before you cut it out, I would advise you label it. So this is my SF, my side front, and sorry, my side back. And this is my center back, which is CB. And this is the top, top. So you write the top, okay? Then you do the same thing on the front pattern. Okay, this, do that, label it before you cut. This is my band back for the back. Okay, so and for my front also, look at my front. So this is my band for the back. The dart here has just little left over. You are going to maintain this. I hope you understand that you will maintain this dart here. Sew it on your fabric, cut it just like this. But for the front, because the dart is very, very tiny, can you see? It's like there's no dart here. Okay, the dart is very tiny. So all you're going to do, just measure it. Just measure as tiny as it is. I think this is about one eight or so. So all you need to do is just to come to the side here and measure the one eight. Okay, one eight. And just use your free hand and blend it because it's very tiny okay just blend it like that so for the front we don't have that anymore the back we still have little that can you see the band so this is the center back this is the side back side back and side fronts are going to be together so this is how it's going to look like can you see this is the center front this is the center back mm -hmm. okay so what you can do here you can you know cut it this way and cut two okay so once you cut two you join it here okay on the center back okay you know the front also must have a zipper fly so and this also must cover it so you are going to cut one like this and one is going to be with the zipper fly extension. You are cutting two, two of this and one of it is going to have an extension, you know, and you are going to join it here because this is going to be the center back. This is all you need. This is going to give you a very perfect band that will sit well on your waist. I have come to the end of this tutorial. Please, if you have any question as regards this lesson, ensure you drop it in the comment section. Ensure you also watch, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.